We're in Backup Exec 21, and in all Backup Exec versions, it uses credentials to decide whether or not a remote server can be backed up by a Backup Exec server. And so we can edit those credentials by going up to the wheel at the top, Configuration and Settings, Logon Accounts, and here we can manage logon accounts, and we can also create new logon accounts if needed. There's a wizard here that we can do this, but it's easier, in my opinion, just to use the Manage Logon Accounts option. And you can just click Add to add new users. So let's first take a look at the users we have. So the first person that you create when adding in the program, the application backup exec, is going to be the system logon account. So we see the system logon account here. It also shows as the default. Then we also see these other accounts that just basically have a key on them. And that shows as a restricted logon account. It's restricted just to that particular resource. So it's not going to be used to launch the application or start or stop any of the backup exec services. And then you have the cloud account as well. And this particular account is neither a restricted account nor the default account. And that is needed in order to connect, say, to Azure. Now, if we want to create a new account, we can put in the username. Now, if it's going to be a domain account, you need to put in the domain name first for Active Directory, followed by the username. And then you're going to put in your password. And then confirm it. And you can see the account name is going to match the username. It doesn't have to, but the account name does have to be accurate. And then by default, it's going to be a restricted login account for a particular resource. And that's fine. Now, you can also edit a particular account as well. So let's take this one account and click Edit. And here we can change the password by clicking on the Change Password button. So I can put in the password here twice and click OK. So that's been entered. And now my password is changed. And I'll click OK. Now, in the resource itself, let's say we go in and say we want to do a backup. So I'm going to click on one time backup to disk. We have the opportunity to edit what we're using there as well. So if I click on test edit credentials, I can choose the test all. And if it's successful, it will actually show up under status as being successful. If it's not, then I'll know I need to change that particular username to be a different one or create a whole new one. So if we do have an issue with SQL Server, for instance, failing, we can go in and create a new user with a new password and just back up the SQL Server separately from the other devices, such as the C drive and system state, etc. You can also run a test backup as well and see if that will work. So that's how we create and edit users in Backup Exec version 21 as well as older versions.